A secondary DNS zone can help us replicate data to another server that's not necessarily a domain controller. And we can do that for, say, a remote office, so that way they can get DNS name resolution without having to go to the primary office over maybe a slow VPN tunnel. So I'm going to choose just randomly here not one of my DNS zones that's not the Active Directory zone. So I'll choose, say, techpublishing.com. So we can see uh, there are a couple of different records that are in there by default, the start of authority and the name server, which points it back to itself. And then I had created one A record called work. So what I want to do is I want to set up the secondary zone by right-clicking and choosing properties. And from here, I can go into where it says zone transfers. Now, I can choose several different options here. First off, I have to make sure the box is checked for allow zone transfers. Second thing is I can choose to any server, which is a bit of a security risk. You definitely don't want to do that. You could also do any servers listed in the name server tab. So if you have the server you want listed here, then it'll automatically allow that. Or you can do the third option, which is only to the following servers, and you can specify those servers. So I know my IP address of my non-domain controller that's running DNS is 192.168.21.114. So I'll just click away here and it says the server with this IP address is not authoritative. That's okay because we're going to make it authoritative. So we'll click OK. We'll click Apply. OK. Now I'm going to go to where it says Forward Lookup Zones on the non-domain controller. So I'm going to right-click, choose New Zone. And this time I'm going to choose a secondary zone. So when I click the secondary zone, I can click next. And all I got to do is type in the name of the zone or I could browse to it. It's just a little bit faster to type it in. And now I'll click next. And now it wants to know who's the master DNS server. And that's going to be DC1 that you see right here. So I'm going to point it back to DC1, which is 192.168.21.110. And let's do, oh, validated it just fine, which is great. Click Next and click Finish. So now if I expand my forward lookup zones, I go to Tech Publishing. You see there's nothing there yet. That's OK. I'll just right click and choose Transfer from Master or choose Transfer New Copy of Zone from Master. This is if you already have a zone copy on here. You just need to refresh it. Sometimes you'll need to hit the Refresh button. There it is. Just hit Refresh and automatically everything pops right up. So now when you set up your DHCP DNS servers, you can now add file server one as a potential DNS server to do name resolution. Of course, you'd want to replicate all the other zones as well if you want to cover all the zones for that secondary. So that's how you replicate and set up a secondary zone in Microsoft Windows Server 2019.